Okay, a wee gone, antennas, not a bother in it. But uh, what I'm gonna do, it's been recommended to me to do, get rid of this 450 ohm, and uh, we're gonna go a three inch open wire, which is pretty much the same thing. Give us an impedance of in or around 450, 460, maybe 465, something like that. And um, this 450 ohm is quite old, and uh, as you can see, it's dancing around the place like a good thing and it's joined in three places so we're going to uh, get rid of that put up some open wire which will catch a little bit less wind and uh, should work better as well so this is what i'm going to use and um, i get these in work um, from our pack room where all the product gets packed into boxes and bags and stuff and these are uh, pvc pegs that the bags come on and they're loaded into the machine and uh, you can see the way they are they are blue but i'm gonna cover them with some black tape and what we do is i made a little jig so i just slide that in there and it gets to the end that's three inches and then i just cut it well you get the idea can't do it one-handed but never mind i have plenty of them so uh, we'll crack on with that and uh, we can get the, the rest of it done. Okay, so they're all cut now. Uh, I've cut 70 of them. I need around 67 foot or so. Uh, plus or minus. Of course we're probably trimming a little bit to fit our application here. But uh, the jig worked out quite handy. I just modified the... Uh, the end of it here that uh, let me see I'll show you now has like an end stop on it now so you slide it in like that took me about 10 minutes to cut 70 of them so maybe not even that so uh, I just got to tape them up now so there you go hole drilled in it screwed it down 3 inches from here to there and uh, just cut them with saw Job done. Right, so there we are. I have them all cut and taped and uh, ready to go. So just to make the feeder now. Okay, so I made up another jig now, just for space in the uh, space in the uh, spacers along the transmission line. So just uh, zip tie goes through on the far side. Everything is nice and tight, so it'll take me about half an hour or so to get this sorted out and uh, ready to put it up then. So, about an hour later, I made a little modification to the jig, put two more the little corner clips on it just to hold the spacers in place. Da, 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 da. You end up with all of that. So, Get a couple of uh, eyelets onto the end and get it up there. I have to get in through this wall. Okay, so there it is up. And uh, didn't catch half as much wind as the other. So I just have to get it in through the wall now. Right, so I've been in through the wall, siliconed up, a nice little box on it there, so. You get the idea. Alright, so that's what the inside end looks like. Just have to, a bit of cleaning up and stuff. I'm just doing a bit of testing here. Listening to the boys on, uh, well, they're on 31 tonight, not 33. So, now get it back together.